Hello, friends. Welcome back to episode six, although all still the same first shoot day. We are going to watch an episode that has some controversial content in it. Remember that for extended versions of the episodes, as well as bonus content, you can join my Patreon. But for everybody, here we go. My name is Ashley Clements, and this is Mary-Kate Wiles. It's me. I'm back. Hello, hello. And hello, then hello. there's a theme. Uh, this is going to be my theme song. I'm like consistently going to just say theme song, unless, if, unless someone wants to make me a theme song. I bet somebody DM me. would do it. If, if you want to make me a little theme song, um, Ask and you I'm shall not picky. receive. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, well, I mean, can you improve on me going theme song? Theme nah, song. Probably not. Theme song. We stepped away from from the Lydia in the last episode, but she comes roaring back. Here we, here we are in episode six. She's back. It's great. I mean, like, here we are six weeks in, or six episodes in, three weeks mm -hmm. into, like, the viewing experience, and mm -hmm. we're still just talking about the same day. Well, let's take a look. Let's shall do we? it. Let's look yeah. back at another yeah. incredibly Aww. flattering I was going to say, you look lovely. Oh, this well, is thanks. Only a three-minute episode. It's, it's a little great. baby one. Yeah. That top looks like it's a pajama top, and I don't oh. think it was. I don't think so. I, it's like a cute Henley-ish top. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. I, I mean, it's such a, not a thing I would wear now, but you know, that's fine. Your hair looks lovely. It's so long. I kind of mm -hmm. didn't remember that it was ever that long. Mm -hmm. But it is, it is also like getting darker and darker. Hmm. Yeah, everyone hates William Darcy. Boo, Darcy, boo. boo. <coughs> Excuse me. Darcy makes tight. me sneeze. <laughs> You're allergic to Darcy. I am. <laughs> I mean, Lizzie, girl, you are obsessed. Could could have told you now. <laughs> like you now. it's kind of obvious. You cannot stop thinking about this guy. Because this isn't even, like, the only episode that I focus on him. The next no. episode is also all about Darcy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. I don't think that I really used to play tennis. Like, this doesn't seem in line with... I'm like, maybe I took a few lessons when I was, like, five years old. Whoa, here she is. Here she is. I miss that pink top. Whoa, also, you said, told me to get my ass out there. I did. Such a man, banana. Coarse language. It is. <laughs> oh boy. And here I am establishing a voice that is hard to do. It's hard on my voice. <laughs> Lydia, what are you doing? Look, you made bold choices, and I applaud them. Sure did. I like how people took it really literally that, like, Darcy may have actually been wearing a newsboy, a page boy hat and, like, the bow tie together, as opposed to Lizzie just, like, grabbing some weird stuff. grabbing something. Stuff. Like, Bing wasn't really wearing a no, medical certainly thing not. on his head. So many curse words. Oh boy. Here we I go. think that's the first Lydia. Yeah. That's the establishment of that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. See, this is your modeling. Modeling. She's a model. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's how I did it too. <laughs> wow, so so quick. A bite size. So quick. Uh Treat. but yes, all those uh all those swear words. And I think that that's the last time we did that because there was some backlash. I remember I... there being um, some people who were like, I could do without the coarse language. Really? That's so funny. I don't remember that, but that doesn't surprise me. I do me. remember that. Yeah. I remember you were even a little concerned about saying some of those Oh, things. I'm sure I was. Because you were like, my mom's going to see this. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I come from a rather conservative family, and um, especially it's, now I've gotten a little bit used to it, but uh, especially 10 years ago, I was always really nervous about what they were going to think if I was cursing. Yeah, you've stuff. been in Los Angeles long enough now. No, I'm an old... You're corrupted. Old bag. <laughs> it's funny, though, because like I even try not to swear on the internet, and I think that's oh, why I'm of like this time period, but I swear like a sailor in my real life. I, um, I, I'm dropping F-bombs left and right. <laughs> I, I do, mean, I, you know. I do sometimes swear, uh, and people, I love swearing. people in general, sometimes in life are like, oh, wow, Mary Kate, I didn't expect that from you. And I'm just like, where, why, <laughs> where'd you get this idea that I don't do this because I don't I do have it also online had that response from people uh and in those cases i'm like oh you don't know me at all they're like you yeah. swore i think that's because like we have wholesome looks yes you know yes, like sure. especially even when we were younger but yeah like we look we look wholesome but and i do uh, try to not do it on that too. i may or may <laughs> not much. i may or may not leave that in <laughs> Wow. I'll go. leave it in for patrons. Patrons wow. can Wow. Patrons get the curse words. <laughs> you have to pay for that, okay? Yeah, I get that. Like you have to pay for HBO. Yeah. Where they they, they where they do the swearing. Yeah, Patreon exactly. is my HBO. Speaking of which, you also have a Patreon. Want to plug yourself? Oh yeah. I sure do. I do have a Patreon. Uh yeah, come join my Patreon. It's a lot of fun. I generally try and um Show you Swear behind the lot. scenes <laughs> of all my swears. No. I try and show my patrons behind the scenes of uh, the ins and outs of an acting career, which are sometimes fun and sometimes not so fun. And uh, for a while, I was making my Anne of Green Gables uh, podcast, which I have finished, but you can get the third book on my Patreon if you need to have more. The first two books are out publicly. Do you and, need um, it? Do you need it? And I also do an interview podcast on my Patreon monthly. I do watch parties, all kinds of fun stuff. So come come join the club. Support your Lizzie Bennett sisters. Yeah, because guess what? We didn't Pay make that much money doing rent. Lizzie Bennett. <laughs> we sure did not. Mm -mm. Certainly aren't making any from it now. So Nope. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Support your um, sisters. Yeah, I haven't actually talked about this on mm. the show yet. So so uh I'm, now I'm gonna talk about it. You can you can tell me if you felt the same way. I felt at the time like we kind of had to live the lie that we were being paid mm. well on the show. Mm, mm. Did you feel that pressure at all? Um, I don't know that I would word it like that, but yes. I mean, there was just this weird disconnect of like, we're really internet famous, but like we make a hundred dollars. You know, and I think also like, you know, I was in a lot of situations with Bernie who was always like, this is yeah. a, you know, like financially sustainable model, which it like a hundred percent was not. Yeah. Like no one was making a living. Hank no. paid for the whole thing up front. Mm. And it wasn't until like halfway through when we did the partnership with um Deca? is it Kin? Deca oh. and Kin the Kin network that were like they're yeah. like the, the uh -huh. same. You know, by the time we get there I'll know what it is. That doesn't happen <laughs> for months. I haven't done that research yet. Um <laughs> but it wasn't until then that like the show was even paying for itself. Hank put up that vlog at one point that was like, if Lizzie Bennett doesn't get too. more views yeah. where you can't keep making it or something. Yeah, I remember that. He was saying that it was getting like 70,000 views an episode and that if it got like 100,000 views an episode, it would pay for itself, hmm. which is also a very different YouTube structure because like YouTube doesn't pay as much as it used to. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, lot, many things have changed about YouTube since mm -hmm. then. I know at the time, you know, I, I, I'm in these these interviews and these situations where people were like, oh, so like this is a this is a, a real thing. And I felt like you know, and maybe I was kind of taking my cue off of Bernie, but I felt like I'd be like, yeah, like this is totally real and legitimate. And mm -hmm. that for me to be like, no, you know, mm -hmm. I get paid a few hundred dollars for, for one day a month mm -hmm. and I, mm -hmm. and I do a ton of stuff for free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, obviously we all have other jobs because oh yeah, no, no one can live off of this. We were all working um, side jobs. It was so weird to be like babysitting and also going to conventions and signing 
uh, mm -hmm. autographs mm -hmm. for hours on end. Like what a weird life that was. I do remember, and like we're not going to get to this for months, but I do remember that when DVG joined the cast that he was still, he was still a server and by the time he joined the cast, like the show was so big, yeah. he was like instantly recognizable. Whereas like we had kind of like a weird soft right. roll into it. Right. And uh, and that he was getting recognized all the time. People would be like, are you Darcy? And he'd be like, yeah, can I take your order? Mm -hmm. What kind of waffle do you want? There's also value in being like, you think this life is like super cool and glamorous, but uh, yeah, we yeah, are definitely. making no money. So yeah. But I think at the time that rather than say like, hey, we're not making any money, but we're making something that we oh, love, yeah. that I we, felt like I had to yeah, we didn't be feel, weird about it. So now I just want to be really clear that yeah. we made very little money. We didn't feel comfortable or confident to say all that. Plus there was a lot of other stuff that happened post-show that was also a source of frustration in terms of, I think that was, part of the frustration was that like, I would get the impression that fans thought that we must be Yes. Essentially the same as like being yes. on a TV show and could yes. could not be <laughs> could not more be different more different yeah yeah so yeah. anyway support uh actors on Patreon <laughs> um yeah well and also you know don't bother your waiter <laughs> <laughs> if you recognize them just text your friend but yeah. you don't have to yeah. You don't have to bother them about Although, it. Although, I mean, it is nice when somebody tells you it how much they loved nice. something. The famous time in our lives. Well, we're not even there yet, right? Because at this point, you know. People in the show? Not... No. Yeah. I remember that first VidCon was when we were like, oh. Yeah. No, we're definitely going to talk about that when we get to it. Because that was, yeah. That was Wild. a paradigm shift, mm -hmm, I would mm -hmm, say. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But for now, we were just making a little web series in Jenny Powell's apartment. Had no yep. idea what was to come. Had no idea. Because also this, yeah, I mean, when we filmed this, none of it had aired yet, obviously. Right. Yeah. And so it really was just this weird thing we did in a vacuum. Like, who knew what mm -hmm. would happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happened again later. We'll see. Thanks who knows? Time. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Mary Kate, I hope you come back. Oh, I would love to come back. You'll see Fantastic. me again. <laughs> All right, then. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.